It's the Sam and Sadie Show, starring Jack Clark and Juliet Hing Lee as Sam and Sadie. Okay, that sounds good. Just be here a little bit before 6 p.m. All right, we'll see you then. Okay, goodbye. Who's on the phone, honey? Oh, it was William Vandersmooth. He's gonna stop by our house later tonight. He says he needs your help with something. William Vandersmooth. That guy's nothing but a wolf. All he ever does is think about women. What does he need my help with? Well, maybe he has a date with a girl and wants you to give him some advice on the opposite sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think so, Sadie. I mean, I don't think I'm the guy to be asking for advice, Sadie. I mean, he goes out with a different girl every night. Me, I'm a married man. I stay home most evenings. Oh, I bet you knew plenty about women back in your day, Sam Barnes. Why, I wouldn't be surprised if you were quite the ladies' man. Me? Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe a little. <laughs> but don't tell me you don't know anything about women. I suppose it would be rather selfish of me to keep this vast knowledge about women all to myself. <laughs> But in fact, I know for a fact that you've forgotten more about love than most men ever knew. I suppose you're right. I just wish you can remember some of it. It's not supposed to mean. <laughs> Nothing, dearie. I'm just teasing. I'm going to go out and pick up my dry cleaning. I'll be back soon, okay? All right. Love you, sweetheart. Love you, too. Well... Looks like we're having company tonight. This guy, William Vandersmooth, he's something else. You see, he's an actor, or at least trying to be. The only thing he's ever done was some two-bit soap opera, television, radio drama, I don't know. Anyways, it was enough to make all the girls in town just swoon over him. Now I know what you're thinking, and it's not true. I'm not jealous. Why would I be? I'm, I'm a married man, and my wife? Greatest woman in the world. I would do anything for her. And I usually do. Of course, it's because she does something which forces me to do it for her in the first place. But <laughs> besides that, William, I mean, I just don't see what it is that women find so irresistible about this guy. I mean, me, frankly, I think he's kind of an idiot. Maybe that's why he and Sadie get along so well. <laughs> Hello, Sadie. Won't you come in? Hello, William. Hello, Sam. How are you? Have a seat. Thank you, Sam. So, Sadie here tells me you need my help with something. Mm -hmm. Actually, I believe I need help from the both of you. And I assume this has something to do with a woman? Sam, I don't always think about women, you know. I am an actor, and trying to make it in show business is a tough lifestyle. And that's what this is about, my acting career, not women. You see, I want fame, success, and lots of money. Oh, why do you want all those things? Well, just think of all the women I'd be able to get. <laughs> w William, suppose you tell us what this is all about. Well, Sam, there's an open role over at the studio for a new television show. It's called Cabana of Love. But the producer, Mr. Sherwin, is the kind of fellow who believes in realism. And being that the part is that of a married man, he believes that only a married man could play it. Well, if you want the part that bad, why don't you take one of these girls that you're always dating and swooning over and marry her? <laughs> Actually, Sam, I thought of a better plan. I told Mr. Sherin that I am married, that I already have a wife. What? Yeah, and I invited him over for dinner. So now, I gotta produce a wife. You don't know where I could borrow one, do you? Hey, I can't think of any wives who aren't already married. Well, actually, Sadie, uh, I was wondering if I could borrow you. Me? Yes. We can invite the producer here for dinner. Oh. Yeah, I don't think so much of this uh, idea, yes, William. Yes, I don't think I'd be too comfortable with that either. All right, well... 
I just thought I'd ask, but you see, I wanted Mr. Sherwin to believe that my wife was the prettiest gal that he'd ever seen and more charming than any Hollywood leading lady. You think I'm more charming and beautiful than any Hollywood star? Yes, and even more talented. Well then, I can't let my public down. I'll do it. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, what? Well, you call up your producer right now and invite him over for dinner. Now, hold, hold on, hold on. What am I supposed to do while you're playing his wife and, I mean, just hide out in the attic? Hmm. Hadn't really thought of that. Well, I know. You can be the butler. Oh, I can be the butler. Perfect, then it's settled. Sadie, why don't we go out and uh, discuss our marriage? Hi, dear. Remember how earlier I said I would do anything for my wife? It's time we revisit that idea. Now, William. If you hope to convince this television producer that you are married, you should probably have some lessons on how to act like a husband. Oh, Sadie, I don't need any lessons. Oh, yes you do. Now let me try you out. Now, I'm your wife, and I say to you, do you love me, darling? Mm. How do you respond? Yes. <clears throat> yes, my beautiful queen. I love you deeply, devotedly, tenderly, and passionately. And I will always love you. Well... That settles it. You are definitely the most singlest man if I saw one, if that's how you think a husband really acts. I'll show you how a husband really acts. Sam's probably in the den right now reading his paper. Just you watch. Sam, dear, do you love me, darling? Uh-huh, yeah. Just let me know when dinner's ready. Do you know what I mean? Wow, the man's a ball of fire, isn't he? <laughs> are all husbands like that? <laughs> Not at first. The first year, they sit across from the breakfast table from you and tell you how beautiful you are. That lasts until about the first anniversary. In fact, I think that's why they call it the paper anniversary. Because after that, they'd much rather read the paper. <laughs> Look, you two. I've been thinking about this whole thing, and I'm, I'm just still not comfortable with this idea of Sadie pretending to be your wife. Oh, but Sam, dear, William here has been learning about how to act like a husband. Just you watch. William, you go outside and come back in and pretend to greet me as though I'm your wife. <laughs> Darling, I've missed you so much. Here's a big hug and kiss from your loving husband. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I think we should try that again. Darling, I've missed you so much. Here's a big hug and kiss from your loving husband. Oh. Okay. One more time, just to make Sadie, look, I'm not happy with this. Well, how do you know you've never tried it? That's enough rehearsal. Come in. Hi. I've been waiting in that little old car for over an hour now, William Dimple, honey. Dimple, Dimple honey. honey. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Um, <laughs> folks, uh, I'd like to, to introduce you to the only gal for me, the only gal I really love. This is, um, what's your name again? Rosalie Cartwright. <laughs> and William Dimple, honey, you promised to take me to a movie right after your meeting. Oh, well, we're actually not done here quite yet. Um, the producer, Mr. Sherwin, hasn't arrived yet. <sighs> I'm sorry, I got caught up being Sadie's husband for so much, I, I forgot about my date tonight. You brought a date to a meeting with a television producer that you're trying to convince Sadie is your wife and you left her sitting in the car? What are you all talking about? Oh, Sam here was just telling William that he shouldn't have brought a date with him to the dinner with his wife tonight. His wife? Mm -hmm. I'm married to William. Before that, I was married to Sam here. You mean you're married, William? And you stole this woman away from her previous husband? Well, he didn't steal me. I'm right here. But I will admit, Sam hasn't been so happy about William and I being husband and wife. But in his defense, we have only been married for 20 minutes. You've been married for 20 minutes? You mean this just happened? Yes, while you were outside sitting in the car. <laughs> <laughs> William 
Vandersmooth, and to think I called you Dimple, honey. Why, you're nothing but a two-timing, hussy-hunting man-wolf. Now, now, wait a minute, sweetheart. Oh, yes, William. Um, Sadie, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to Rosalie oh, here. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought a word like sweetheart would only be when you were referring to your wife. <laughs> like the word philanderer when referring to this playboy. Um, now, now, wait a minute, Rosalie. I, just give me a minute to explain this. Yes, after all, come tomorrow, I won't be married to William anymore. Because you realize what a cat he is, too, huh? That does it. William Mannersmooth, do not call on me again. And believe me when I tell you that I know plenty of girls in this town, and I'll be sure that they hear about what kind of a wife-stealing, girlfriend-cheating, despicable hound dog of a man you are. Goodbye. I don't think I can go through with it anymore, William. Why is that, Sadie? Well, that girl's going to go around town and tell everybody how much of a shrew you are. And, well, I couldn't marry a man with that kind of reputation. I'm sorry, but I think I'm going to have to stay married to Sam here. Okay, well, I guess you're right. Let's just forget about the whole thing. I'll call Mr. Sherwin and let him know that we're going to cancel for tonight. I don't think I want to play a married man in real life or pretend. Mm. Well, if you excuse me, I'm going to see if I can straighten this thing out with Rosalie. <clears throat> oh, and Sam. Yes, William? I was only pretend married to Sadie for 20 minutes, and she made my life a wreck. I don't know how you've done it for all these years. <laughs> How do you do it? You know, put up with all the stuff I seem to get you and everybody else into? That's easy, sweetie. See, with William, you're only pretending to be a loving wife. But in reality, you, you are a loving wife to me every day. And you know what the best part is? Yes, dear. I get to be your loving husband every day, too. <laughs>